My name is Peter McGrath, and I'm going to present to you this podcast on the Consumer Price Index for Senior Cycle Economics. Why the Consumer Price Index? Well, the topic on the Consumer Price Index, commonly referred to as CPI, was explicitly chosen as it is of paramount importance for senior cycle economic students to comprehend. Regardless of our profession, our interest in economics or trading, we are all familiar with the concept of inflation, as prices erode our purchasing power. Whether buying a can of coke at the school's vending machine with our pocket money, or purchasing our weekly household groceries, inflation affects us all. So the learning objectives of this podcast. At the end of this podcast, you should be able to define what the consumer price index is, illustrate and understand its function, and calculate the consumer price index and inflation using a simple formula. So what is the consumer price index? Well, the consumer price index, commonly referred to as CPI, is the official measure of inflation in Ireland. It is conducted, compiled and published on a monthly basis by the Central Statistics Office, CSO. It is designed to measure the change in the average level of prices paid for consumer goods and services by the private households or foreign visitors to the country. The Consumer Price Index measures the overall change in the prices of goods and services that people typically buy over a period of time. It does this by collecting approximately 53,000 prices each month and comparing these to the corresponding prices from the previous month. As everyone has different tastes and spending habits, the CPI measures prices for a huge assortment of items. Not only does the Consumer Price Index measure prices for goods, including food, clothing, footwear and fuel, but it also considers services, including hairdressing, taxi fares and insurance, etc. This collection of, of items is normally and commonly referred to as the basket of goods and services. This basket of goods and services is divided into 12 main groups, namely food and non-alcoholic beverages, alcoholic beverages and tobacco, clothing and footwear, housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels, furnishings and household equipment, health, transport, communications, recreation and culture, education, restaurants and hotels, and lastly, miscellaneous items. This basket does not apply to any particular person or family, but represents an average household in Ireland. The goods and services which are listed and included in the basket are determined from the Household Budget Survey, HBS. This survey is conducted every five years to reflect up-to-date purchasing patterns. The relative importance are commonly called weights. The greater the importance, therefore, the greater the weight of these goods and services are also decided from the information collected in the Household Budget Survey. For example, a 5% rise in the price of petrol would have a bigger effect or impact on the Consumer Price Index than a 10% rise in the price of table salt. So how do we calculate the Consumer Price Index? For this, we use a simple formula. The price in the current year over or divided by the price in the base year multiplied by 100. So let's work it out. If we take two common products such as milk and bread and take two years, year one as the base year and year two. In year one, we purchase 100 litres of milk priced at one euro and 50 cent. We also purchase 50 loaves of bread priced at one euro and 50 cent. In year two, we consume and purchase the same quantity. This is very important for comparison. Therefore, 100 litres of milk. However, the price is increased to one euro and 75 cent, respectively, and 50 loaves of bread priced at one euro and 80 cent with a 30, 30 cent increase. Taking the price and quantity for each year, we multiply them and add them together. This results in 100 litres of milk being multiplied by one euro 50 cent, plus 50 loaves of bread multiplied by one euro 50 cent, providing an answer of 225. 
We repeat this calculation for year two. Therefore, 100 litres of milk price at 1 euro 75 cent and 50 loaves of bread price at 1 euro 80 cent. This results in a figure of 265. Having calculated the two figures for year one as our base year and year two to compare, we can now use and substitute them into the formula. For a year one, the price in the current year is 225 over the price in the base year, which is the same year, 225 multiplied by 100. This results in an answer of 100. The base year should always equate to 100. For year two, we substitute in the figures. The current year, 265, and once again we substitute 225 for our base year, multiplied by 100. This provides an answer of 117. In order to calculate the rate of inflation based on these two products, we substitute 117 minus 100, divided by the base year, which is 100, multiplied by 100. This provides an answer of 17%. So what are the economic uses for the consumer price index? Well, firstly, it's used when measuring the rate of inflation. It is also used for international inflation comparisons. It acts as an indicator of the government or country's performance. It also provides indexation of savings and investments and it can be used for wage negotiations by trade unions. What precautions should be taken when using the consumer price index? It is important to bear in mind it only considers the average consumer spending. It is not a cost of living index. It has the tendency to lag behind consumer trends and fashions and it does not take into account improvements in the quality of products such as goods and services. So therefore, to summarize, what is the consumer price index? It measures change in the price level of market basket of consumer goods and services purchased by households. The consumer price index is a statistical estimate constructed using the price of a sample of representative items whose prices are collected periodically each month. So to recap the learning outcomes or learning objectives, Having watched and listened to this podcast, you should now be able to define what the consumer price index is, interpret and understand its function, and calculate inflation using the consumer price index form. There are many cross-curricular links when studying the consumer price index as a measure of inflation for leave cert economics at senior level. Both literacy and numeracy are deeply embedded at the core of the teaching methodology. Through written and verbal theoretical knowledge, studied and discussed, and mathematical calculations achieved using the Consumer Price Index formula. This topic has direct cross-curricular links with business and mathematics. Thank you for watching and listening to this podcast on the Consumer Price Index.